Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Well, and thank you for coming to our neighborhood. I don't know. Once that. again. <laughs> I don't know if that's a copyright. Anyway. But have you ever wondered about water intoxication? I don't even know what that is. So yes. I knew it. Good morning. Good afternoon. And good night. Today. Say your name. Fuzzy. <sighs> He's so picky. My my name is Fuzzy. Uh, I'm Elroy. We are your hosts today. Are you ready to be um, waterboarded? Oh, I mean. Oh, ready to be waterboarded? No. But it's <laughs> just as deadly, surprisingly. Um, water intoxication, if you didn't know, can actually happen. Basically, what happens is it's similar to alcohol intoxication. Uh, meaning by like the side effects with uh, nausea, alternated, alternated um, mental state, and vomiting. Also headaches, muscle weakness, and convulsions can happen. Sounds seriously terrible. Yes, and in severe cases, coma and death. So basically what happens if you drink so much water in a short period of time, because um, I guess from what I understand, like you're, you're able to process, as long as you have like good kidneys, Mm -hmm. uh, like you're able to process like a liter per hour, I guess, from what I understand. And basically, if you drink more than that, like you end up start to absorb it a lot into your bloodstream and whatnot. And what that does is it uh, thins out your blood basically, and you don't have enough electro eh, electrons as well. I was gonna say electrolytes. electrolytes to compensate for that, and then you just start losing function and, and going downhill fast. Plus, the other thing what happens is the cells, they absorb the water, and that includes in your brain, and what happens is because your skull, uh, you know, of course, isn't going to go anywhere, like, your, your cells will actually just keep swelling, keep swelling until they just explode. And that's Ooh. basically what happens like there. brain hemorrhaging? Um, from what I understand, uh, you're supposed to be able to even combat this if you I would imagine realize three. it right away, and then you go and you get every, try to get everything uh, taken care of with, like, uh, like a saline drip and stuff like that to try oh. to get the electrolytes and whatnot. Just back drink some Gatorade. Uh, you know what? Or coconut That's just water. it. I don't know. There, I, there's something I was reading that that makes me think that it could be pretty much anything that you drink a whole lot of, really. Oh, okay. Well, Gatorade which, has electrolytes. Which we'll get into that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so does coconut water. It has really high amounts of electrolytes. Mm -hmm. I, I totally agree. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah. That's just that like, um, <laughs> just God. mind blowing that you can just. It's giving me an itchy eyeball. That's how right. mind blowing it is. Okay, when you st uh, yeah, when you drink <laughs> so much water, blah blah blah. Ouch. Uh, let's see here. Basically, yeah, it's water poisoning. It dilutes the blood of the electrolytes. Basically, what happens is a uh, symptom of or a form of hyponatrium, uh, and it can be caused by excessive sweating too, severe burns prolonged dehydration and certain liver and kidney problems and of course other diseases and conditions so it's a f it's the same thing but it can be caused by many things including drinking too much water uh, see here and did you know since 1995 there's been about 20 notable cases on this actually happen happening and one of the cases actually in 2014 is whenever a kid from Mississippi that was 17 he drank during and before of course to stay hydrated because he's playing football and basically he was drinking Gatorade and Pedialyte and basically uh, from what I understand he fell over unconscious found out there was swelling in his brain and they uh, wrote it off as being too dehydrated or too hydrated wow see what I mean by like yeah. the whole Gatorade thing is like I'm, I would think it could go anywhere well maybe he drinks well maybe yeah I guess or maybe he did drink a bunch of water too with it well I guess too much too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Yeah, it's a, it's it's interesting to know that even water is considered poison to us. And, and, it's, and, and too much, of course. Well, I guess it would mess with our body composition. Right, that's what it does. Like... Well, that's just it. We need to have that specific amount of water in our cells and electrolytes to be able to transfer all the, the electricity going to tell everything to do what it needs to do. And whenever you get rid of... Uh, get too much of either one you can basically hurt yourself Man. so because the salt is actually used can actually use to um, not only transfer that but it can cause like a 
what was it? Heart? Like, well, heart attack, of course, but... Well, yeah, and your brain's, like, yeah. swell and stuff. Well, I guess... So, yeah. Then, is that it? That's pretty much it on what I have there. Hopefully, guys, you uh, found that interesting about water intoxication. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely stay hydrated, but not too hydrated. Water. Drink responsibly. <laughs> That's something that you don't think that you'd ever hear right. anybody saying about. So... Well, hey, wanna, yeah, wanna sure. end this off here? Okay, fine. We want to say good morning, and good afternoon, and good night. Wait, advertising. Uh, advertising. Don't forget to like. Oh yeah, fillers. Yes. I guess. Don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe, leave a comment, or send us our send or talk to us in our uh, email that's uh, on our uh, what do you call it? YouTube yeah. channel. Emailed me or this guy? Well, it'll go to the right one. Either, it'll go to either both or. Us. So, so have thanks a good for watching. Time. Have a good night or day.